During the Phantom Liberty main quest called Firestarter, V and Alex will go undercover, posing as a pair of ginger netrunners who are poised to strike a deal with bar guest leader Kurt Hansen. But Hansen is aware the FIA plans to make a move against him, so he's incredibly skeptical and will ask probing questions during this meeting. In this video, we're going to explore what happens if our cover is blown during this crucial conversation with Kurt Hansen. Before you enter the meeting, you can review Aurora Cassell's behavioral profile, which has a lot of important details about her backstory that will come in handy during this meeting. We'll break down each question and dialogue variation throughout this video. Video. But first, let's observe one of these conversations where we get exposed. I'd like to raise a little toast to a successful day of business. Work first, only then pleasure. Of course. It's changing the subject. Did you enjoy yourselves at the Sapphire? My people tell me the stakes went high. You two left richer and happier, I hope. There were many twists, and uh, not all of them pleasant. You consider doubling your money an unpleasant twist? We are waiting. I didn't mean to make things awkward. The Black Sapphire. My pride and joy. I worked hard to make it the go-to destination for Night City's royalty. Oh, actually, before I forget, I learned recently that we have a mutual friend. She said you did time together at La Sante. Remembers you well. My, you must have an impressive set of contacts, Colonel. And just who is this friend who remembers me so well? Raquel. Asked me to say hello. She did her time under Max Security, C-Block. Said her rat tattoo might jog your memory. Ah, oh, yes, the rat tattoo, I remember. Oh, please give Raquel my warmest regards. Wait, did I say Raquel? I meant Ruth, from B-Block, not C. Horror? Well, at least you were successful in wasting my time. Did you really expect I'd be fooled so easily? A regrettable miscalculation. So yeah, not a good ending for Alex and V. Getting choked out in a stadium skybox definitely wasn't how I expected to go. The run option that flashes on the screen at the end is a fake choice, because even if you hit the prompt, you still get flatlined. So let's break down what's happening here. There are four big questions and conversation topics that will affect the outcome of this encounter. If you fail two of the prompts, then Kurt will realize that you are not Aurora Cassell and will prompt his soldiers to gank you. The first important question is about your evening at the Black Sapphire. In my playthrough, here's how things ended at the casino. I'm seeing red coming. Black for us then. 13. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is a scripted event that you will always lose, but it's important to remember whether the twins won the jackpot against V or not, since Kurt will certainly remember. Kurt will then talk about his friend Raquel in the C block with the rat tattoo. This question is a trap. If you inspect Aurora's profile, you'll see that she served time in the VIP wing of a dissension center. So even if Kurt did know a Raquel, then her and Aurora were not in the same prison. So the correct choices are either, I do not know Raquel, or we were in different blocks. Next, Kurt will ask for a refresher about Aurora's fashion choices. Ah, uh, by the way, at the Sapphire, you asked me to contact a certain fashion type Remind me who? Oh, the couturier of uh, Arif Iqbal. Oh, that tasty morsel on WNS News. You sure of this? 
I think I'd remember if that son of a bitch's name came up. Yeah, it's a small problem. Uh, it is time to attend to business, no? Ma chère amie, it's been business all along. Did you really expect I'd be fooled so easily? Wrong again. The correct choice is Carrie Uridine's Taylor, as it mentions in Aurora's profile that she likes the rocker boy's style. Finally, Kurt will try to press the twins to set up an arms deal with the criminal underground in France. There's another opportunity I'd like to discuss. An expansion into Western Europe. What I need is a reliable partner on the ground. Two would be even better. Ooh, I have butterflies. A lucrative opportunity? <laughs> but I shouldn't sugarcoat it. I'm asking for a lot of hard work. Comms channels, supply chains, secure transport routes, the good graces of local authorities. These things I have. The groundwork is laid. Then what more do you need from us? I need an inn with Les Collectifs. <laughs> Anyone with even a bit of credit in France knows who they are. We can put you in contact, easily enough. Oh, is that so? Just like that? Yes, I and Le Collectif, we are very close. Hmm. Close, sure, but not on the best terms from what I know. <laughs> Mere rumors, Colonel. Rumors can be very dangerous. Especially when investigated, pursued, even turned inside out for truth. Did you really expect I'd be fooled so easily? This is another trap, because Aurora is on such bad terms with the group that they put a bounty on her head. I loved playing through this mission. It's such a simple premise, but it really immersed me in the undercover spycraft that's possible in Cyberpunk's new DLC. Taking on someone's appearance with face and voice changing technology, studying their personality, and then smoothly imitating them to fool your mark. It's such a fun experience. And I'm glad the quest has a fail state. I was half expecting to be able to bluff your way through the conversation regardless, but your choices actually do matter here. So there you have it. What happens if you blow your cover with Kurt Hansen in Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty? If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more Cyberpunk and RPG videos. Big shout out to all the channel members for supporting my content. Until next time, this has been Big Dan. I should go.